In the discharging and charging capacitors tutorial, we had the following RC circuit, and we proved that this equation describes it. Also, for discharging capacitor, we, we use this, this uh, circuit, and we proved that this equation described its behaviour. Note that the term RC here is referred to as the RC constant. You'll often see it notated as tor equals RC. So what are its units? Well, since R units is J over C uh, by S over C, you write that down here, and the capacitor units is C over joules per coulomb, then uh, R times C, we just multiply these units out and you'll find that everything cancels and we get, as we would expect, the units are in seconds. So RC units are in seconds. If you look at equation 1 and 2, these two here, it's clear that when T is much greater than RC, so when this T is much greater than RC, we can see that T over RC is then a very large number over a, over a smaller value, which gives a big number. And so E to the minus big number is equivalent to 1 over an even bigger number, which obviously is 0. Hence the E term goes to 0. And so for equation 1, so with the E term goes to equa um, going to 0 here, this term going to 0, then for equation 1, VC equals VS. And for the di that's for the charging. And for the discharging, uh, when this goes to 0, obviously the capacitor voltage is 0. So that makes sense. Uh, and we saw this in the uh, in the lab. When building circuits using capacitors as timing components or working out what delays they cause etc there's a very useful and very common short cut rule used that is used known as the 5RC rule of thumb this gives us the useful measure that a capacitor will charge or discharge within 1% of its final value in 5 time constants this is probably the most practical and useful attribute to remember about capacitors if we look at the data if you collected any from the last lab uh, you should see a very close match with this 5RC rule. Let's have uh, a quick look and see what we got. The capacitor we used was 4,700 microfarad and the resistor was 1.5 kilo ohms. So R times C there would give 7.05 seconds. So 5 times uh, this then obviously gives 35.25 seconds. Now if you watch the lab and time it, you'll see the timings are well within this 1%. To prove it, here is my printout of the curve, and you can see here 35 seconds. So this rule of thumb is very, is very uh, uh, accurate. This means before we even did the lab, we could have known how long it would take by just using the 5RC rule. So that's a very useful rule of thumb. But now let's... Uh, make things even easier for our analysis of RC circuits because now we're going to use a, a trick to rewrite both equation 1 and 2 in the last sheet like so we're going to write this down like so so here so V0 V0 here is to allow for the possibility that the capacitor already had a voltage across it at T equals 0 this equation is the only one you need to know for RC circuits as it incorporates both the charging step and the discharging step, the equations 1 and 2 in the previous sheet. This incorporates both of them uh, and, I'll, and let me show you how that, that works. Let's first use the following notation. Little VCT is the capacitor voltage at time equals T. Uh, capital V0 is the initial capacitor voltage and capital VS is the source voltage. So now we can rewrite this equation 3 in a more general way like so. We can write VCT equals, and we put this in brackets, V0 for T smaller than 0 and Vs add, uh, V0 minus Vs e to the minus T over RC for T greater than 0. This is called the complete or total response equation, which is a more formal equation uh, of, of equation 3. If we assume for example, that the capacitor is uncharged initially, we can set V0 equals to 0, okay, in equation 4. So when that's 0, so then it becomes VCT equals VS brackets 1 minus E to the minus T, 
over RC. Now that's the same as our original equation on our first sheet, yeah, for the charging for the charging of a capacitor. So that's an important important thing. We originally derived that. It's worth noting at this point uh, we can also get the current by using the fact that for capacitors the current through them is I C dV by dt. So if we use calculus and differentiate this equation for, we'll end up with this. So we can find the current in RC circuits really easy, but this only applies obviously for RC circuits. So if we differentiate that, we'll end up with the current because I equals C div with, with the capacitance in front because I equals C dV by dt. Again, if you're not familiar with uh, calculus and differentiation, then just plug in some numbers to this equation to get a feel for it, and that will help you remember it. No, it's, it is only relevant for RC circuits. Now, looking at our general equation 4, again, we can also see that if we had no source voltage, in other words, Vs equals 0, then equation 4 reduces to this equation here which is the discharging equation. So I hope you can see that equation 4, this equation 4 here, is all you, you will need to know when dealing with RC circuits, along with a very useful uh, 5RC rule of thumb. So in later work problem tutorials, I'll do a number of RC problems using all that we've covered in these RC tutorials by using equation 4 and the RC rule of thumb.